Hi guys. <laughs> Don't pay Raggedy Andy over here any mind. Oh, I'm just relaxing. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I have not been to Dollar Tree. All of my money has been going to other things. Um getting ready for my trip in a few weeks now. Um, we spent the weekend in the city uh, for Father's Day. We spent two days in um, Manhattan and Times Square. It was very, very nice. The hotel was literally in the heart of everything. As soon as you walked out the hotel door, two doors down was Madame Toussaint's Wax Museum. Across the street was Dallas BBQ. Um, across the street was the theater where they're uh, doing Aladdin. I mean, it was just literally, we did the park and stay, which the car was safe. And we literally can walk to anything and everything. We had a really good time. It's supposed to be one day, but we just, you know, that's the beauty of not having small kids and having um, our work schedules that we said, you know what, let's stay another day money but you know it's all about living okay and uh, we had a great time it was a big reality shock to come home when I look out my bedroom window I see hedges you know you look out that hotel window you see Times Square you see the skyline it was it was nice but anyway other than that I'm happy that my oldest son passed his road test this was his second time around I failed my first road test and you know it was a nerves you know, so today he took it exactly a week ago, last Wednesday. And I said to him last night, and I wasn't trying to discourage him, but I wanted to make sure he was prepared because we didn't have any time for practice. My goal was to take him out a couple of days, but then being in the city and my personal life, um, we never linked up together, but he wanted to go and he went and he passed. So I'm happy for him. So he needed his license for his job and he just started this job. And that was one of the requirements that he get his license in a certain time period. So I'm happy that that is taken care of. Um, no, I have not seen my chunk of monk. I guess for me, it's like out of sight, out of mind. I mean, I know he's alive and he's well, but it's just the people that I have to go through to get to him, I just don't want to deal with. So um, I know he's alive and well. I do miss him. Maybe um, tomorrow, well, actually, tonight I'm going back to work. Tomorrow would have started my three-day, 12-hour shifts. But um, it kind of actually worked out for me because I wasn't, after the nice weekend I had, you know, who wants to go back to work? So, um, the evening nurse who was doing a double called me, she's not feeling well. So she asked me, can I come in tonight? So I'll get off, I'll go in tonight at 11 and I'll work till about nine, nine thirty tomorrow morning. And then don't have to go to work till Friday, which is better for me. So, um, I'm going in tonight, but what was I saying to say all this? I don't even know why I brought that shit up. Excuse my language. I don't even know why I brought it up. My, 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 I'm not going to say my memory. I'm not going to claim that in Jesus name, but that's just basically what I've been up to. Um, maybe, oh, after I finish this work week, maybe I'll see him. I'll ask, can I see him one day next week? But, um, lately I've just been, I have been just selfish with myself and my time. Hold on. I have to take this call. I forgot where we left off, but, um, so we'll see what happens next week. I just have been just being very selfish with myself and, and st trying to stay away from negativity and staying away from drama. And also I have been really staying away from Dollar Tree. Um, I was right outside of a Dollar Tree just a few minutes ago because I went to make some last minute clothing exchanges for my vacation. And um, I wanted to go in, but I... I'm staying away from Dollar Tree. I say that maybe tomorrow I'll go. <laughs> maybe tomorrow I'll go. Because lately the ones by me have been just not having what I want. And I'm sick of looking on Instagram, seeing all these fabulous finds, all this new makeup and blah, blah, blah. And I, I hate, I hate to lose. So also, like I've shared with you guys, I have so many unused Dollar Tree products and it's embarrassing some things I use and love the repurchases I use faithfully 
Um, but sometimes I see things and I just buy it because it's a dollar. So a lot of you have messaged me and I am aware that there is going to be, I seen an article, I don't know if it's real or fake, but some Dollar Trees will sell alcohol, sell alcohol. And also there's this new concept or a, a, a change. Um, Dollar Tree bought out Family Dollar. So if you're familiar with Family Dollar, it's like a discount store or whatever which I happen to like. That's one of my favorite stores also. It's like a Dollar General, if you're familiar with that. And they um, are going to have what they call Dollar Tree Plus, meaning they're going to be selling items that cost more than a dollar. Um, they're going to have $5 items. They're going to have $3 items, $2 items, and $1 items. So in my mind, it's going to be like a five below. I'm okay with that because I think they're still going to have quite a lot of items for a dollar but it's going to be for me the discount thrifty shopper it's going to be like the best of both worlds because they're going to have um my favorite stores combined dollar tree family dollar and i do like dollar general so for me it's not really such a big deal um we'll just have to see i mean if they're going to be bringing us better merchandise and better finds i don't mind paying um I don't mind paying $5. I don't mind paying $3, okay? Um, so we're going to have to see how they, they work it out, and, and we'll see. But other than that, that's all that's been going on in my life. Um, that's about it. Um, we had the verdict last week for Junior, and um, I don't know if you guys watch. Because I follow Pix11, I get the alerts, and then I get invited by uh, Ruben. Lucy Rodriguez sends me invites all the time about uh, the news on Junior. Um, Mary Murphy went to our house and did a Facebook Live with her talking about, you know, the memorial and plans. And I guess trying to get Leandra's take on the verdicts or whatever. And she had said, you know, on I think this past Monday, the the eight people that are on the second trial, I guess only one of them showed up to court. And Leandra said, yeah, I hear only reason why. Um, and Mary Murphy did bring up that, um, and it was in the news. So it wasn't just Mary wasn't the first one to bring this up that he, his daughter was there. I don't know if she's three years old or if she's five years old. And he said hello to her and told her that he loved her. And they said the little girl was just beaming you know, happy to see her daddy. And um, Leandra said, well, you know, I, I hear that that's the only reason why he showed up to court. That was his motivation to go to court. And um, Leandra said, maybe someone should kill his daughter. But I think it came out of her mouth so fast. And I follow several junior pages on Instagram, okay? I'm not going to name them. I have named them in the past. So, um, you know... One in particular was very critical of her statements and so were his followers and they were bashing her and blah, blah, blah. The only thing I will say is no one, unless you've experienced what Leandra experienced, will know that loss. Um, you guys who followed me for a long time, I told you about my girlfriend who lost her 23-year-old daughter to lupus and I know dying from sickness is different from your son being hunted and brutally murdered but a loss is a loss and I don't know personally how I would feel if that was my son if I would have said the same thing so I'm not going to judge her for how she grieves or how she feels um shout out to her and I commend her for sitting in that courtroom um dealing with I don't know how do you sit with people who really don't give a damn I'm sorry and and I I don't know if I I don't know what I how I would have been able to do it so this lady has been through a lot um you know and a lot has been said about her about her family criticism they also were criticizing Genesis saying that she's fake she's really not sad they see her partying all the time um I guess you just can't measure a person's grief one person may grieve differently than others um, do I think that she really meant what she said? No, I think it just was 
angry. I mean, it's got to be hard. Your, your, your baby, your son is gone. And these people, even though, like I shared with you guys in my, the last video, um, they still can live. They still have plenty of life. I mean, look, Jose Muniz just dislocated um, a, a correctional officer's shoulder. And why not? What I'm trying to say is these people are animals and they have nothing to lose now. They don't have to be model model prisoners anymore to show that, you know, maybe this was a mistake that they made. They're really decent people and they're trying to do their time and pay their debt back to society. Now they've been found guilty. Why not act crazy and be who you really are? I mean, they have nothing to act right for, you know. They don't have to worry about nobody going to the court saying how they're uh, being menaces in jail, how they're, you know you already said I'm guilty so most likely you're going to throw the book at me so I don't give a fuck excuse my language but that's probably how they feel so that doesn't shock me that that happened that doesn't shock me that how that happened um you know that's who they truly are and you know maybe you know coming to court looking humble head down what was the first time in court wasn't he crying shaking his head I mean now it's like when you're dealing with these kind of people you know, once they don't get what they want, the true the true them shows, and I'm not I'm not surprised about him doing that. Um, you know, tomorrow's the first year anniversary, and I I, I know it's going to be a lot of memorials and everything for him, and that's part of what they also were talking about on the Mary Murphy um the Mary Murphy interview, and I don't know, it's just it's just really really sad. Um. As far as I heard that they're considering plea deals, so they're open, the prosecution said they're open to plea deals for the next eight. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen to them, to be honest with you. I mean, they, they didn't touch Junior. They did not chase Junior. Um, but they still was a part of the chase, as was Kevin and Sosa. And they more so because Kevin did physically assault Junior in the bodega. Um, Sosa was in there actively arguing his point uh, with the bodega workers, trying to get them to let them have Junior. So, And they got off with a, uh, a slap on the wrist. So who knows what's going to happen to the next the next group. I really think the next group. I, I, I really don't want to make a prediction. I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know what's going to happen, but it's, it's, it's got to be hard for the family. So I, I don't, I don't judge a mother who's lost their child to, for what, you know, what was the reason you didn't rob him? What, what was the reason? You know, what did you get out of it? I don't know, but it will be interesting to see how the sentencing goes. I mean, some people are saying it's automatic life. I just, in New York, being a New York citizen, I just don't think people get life for murder. I just don't believe that. And I'm sorry. If they do, it's because they want to make an example. You know, they might get, I don't know. Selling drugs? Yeah, they get football scores. 40 years, 30 years for selling drugs. And I'm not saying that shouldn't be punished, but um, I think taking the light, uh, taking a life is the ultimate, in my opinion. But um, we're going to have to see what happens, you know. But she did get a lot of criticism off of that comment. And I just think it just came out. I really don't feel that that woman um, wants his child, something to happen to his child. So I think she just, the amount of pain that she feels, I think she wants them to feel that pain as well. And I don't fault her for that. I don't fault her for wanting them to suffer because I'm sorry. I just don't think jail is, is, is real punishment. I mean, they got Wi-Fi. You know, I know I have friends who've had people, um, in jail and they had Wi-Fi. I could send emails. Um, at one point I was contacted years ago by somebody on Facebook who said he was an inmate somewhere. So if you're in Facebook and somebody's DM, I mean, you're still living. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, their families could still see them. His daughter could go to court and see him and say, hi, daddy. She'll never see Junior again. He'll never have kids. He'll never get married. He'll never graduate high school. And that's going to be hard. All those firsts, like when, when it comes time for his class to graduate, just to know that he should have been walking across that stage. 
I'm telling you, he passed that um, in June, September. I'm telling you, I couldn't even go to the store. I had to leave Walmart because they had all the back to school stuff. And all I kept thinking is he should be going school shopping now. Yeah, that's why I really don't talk about it because I, for, I have learned something about myself that I did not know. When I get caught up in something, th they, that has my 100% attention and I... I, I lose goal. So like right now I'm in vacation mode. That has my 100%, you know, my, all my motivation and everything is on vacation. You understand what I'm saying? And that's how I am. So I, that's why I don't talk about it often because that case really, 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 his story really, 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 really affected me and um, affected a lot of us. And that's how I know most of you today. So, um, it is what it is. I just pray that she continues to stand strong and um, maybe she can be a mentor to other mothers losing their children. Um, you know, maybe some good can come out of this. I don't know what, but maybe some good can come out of this because it seems like the murderers, murders are still going on or whatever, but um, we'll have to see what happens. So I'm just checking in with you guys, just saying hello. Let me show you what I've been up to. Hold on. Let me turn this around. So I have my little makeshift garment rack, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to narrow down. I'm only going for five days, okay? You would think that I was going forever. But I'm trying to narrow down what I'm taking and what I'm not. This is a vacation dress. Sorry, guys. That I had from I don't know how many vacations ago. The price tag is still on it. This is making the cut. I'm finally going to wear this dress. It has a high split here. And it's beautiful. Let me try to zoom out. It is beautiful. It's long. Okay. From rainbows. Y'all know I love rainbows. Um, this is another dress. Another long dress. That's making the cut. This one I'm on the fence about. And this has high slits on both sides. This has high slits on both sides, okay? Nice silky material. This is another one, <laughs> another long floral dress. Can't get away from these damn flowers, you know? But I, I'm thinking tropical, you know? This is another one, another long tropical dress. Um, these are just like things to put on during the day. Look at this you guys can see this this is long and it has high slits I can wear this over a bathing suit okay i don't know what's up with me in animal print i might wear this to the airport y'all turn some head no i'm a married woman i ain't turning nobody's head this is from um with those earrings i think those earrings are cute okay and it matches the little gold belt here it's a high low so one side One side is lower than the other. And I'm thinking of those earrings. And the back. I got to get some leggings. Some ripped leggings for that. I'm just putting everything together, guys. I think this is so cute. I bought this. <laughs> this has a sheer bottom. I think that is so freaking cute. Look at this. Sheer. See-through. You can wear that over a bathing suit. And this is a romper. Very nice. I got my hats and all this other stuff. This dress right here, y'all, I paid $3 for this dress. And I'll show you a picture of me in that dress trying it on right now. So that is it. I paid $3 for that dress. It's sheer on the bottom. I really don't like that. It does come with a slip, but the slip is like a mini. Like, it only comes up mid-thigh. I wish the slip was longer, but $3. She was like, oh, final sale. I'm like, okay. If I don't wear it, <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll find somebody to give it to. And um, that's about it. That's been, been taking my most focus, y'all. That's where my focus has been and just living in between. But anyway, good to see you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have any thoughts to share or you just want to say hi. 
and I'll be talking to you soon. I'm going to get eat some dinner and then lay down and get some rest. Yeah.